Now, the tussle between the Capital Markets Authority CMA and the investments firm Cyton is deepening with the CMA defending its decision to block the company from onboarding new clients until a new trustee is appointed, a directive which has since been suspended by the High Court. In an affidavit filed before the court, CMA's Director of Market Operations, Abu Bakr Hassan Abu Bakr, has rubbished claims by Cyton that the decision was an ambush and malicious, arguing that the directive, rather, only meant to protect the interests of investors and the general public. Cyton's former trustee cooperative bank of Kenya issued a notice of resignation on 1st of August 2019, but Saiton had not yet appointed a successor for the scheme after two months as required by the law, prompting the regulator to take action. As of 31st December 2019, the fund manager held more than 710 million shillings worth of assets. Back to matters of agriculture, there could be respite for mango farmers in Makweni County following a kickoff of a campaign against fruit flies. Mango farmers in the county and across the country in Kenya have been losing their produce to deterioration attributable to attacks by fruit flies. The campaign against fruit flies brings together stakeholders including the Ministry of Agriculture, USAID and the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service. From the 5 billion shillings that we should get from mangoes to lose about 2.3 billion uh, shillings. Of course, with the efforts that have been made already in terms of uh, fighting the fruit fly, uh, we have recovered some of those losses. Parties in the mango value chain will also be required to adhere to the new mango certification protocol to ensure compliance to the export standard.